Can you imagine a cafe where the menu serves up more than just coffee and snacks? Welcome to the Cafe on the Edge of the World, a place where the menu features three perplexing questions. This cafe has the uncanny power to turn our lives upside down. It's like a mirror reflecting not just our face, but our entire life, asking us questions most of us are too busy or scared to ask ourselves. Just like John, he didn't stumble into this cafe, he was guided there by fate circumstance, or whatever you'd like to call it. He didn't walk out just with a cup of coffee, he left with life-changing insights that nudged him closer to finding his purpose. And let's be real, who doesn't need a nudge or two? So the cafe on the edge of the world is not just about caffeine, it's about questions that can awaken you in ways that caffeine never could. This cafe is a metaphorical space for self-discovery. You're not just a customer here, you're a traveler on a journey to understand the grand scope of your life. And as you know, sometimes a single question can hit you so hard, it feels like a physical jolt. That's the magic of this place. As John sips his coffee, he's confronted with three questions that make him turn in his seat. Why are you here? Do you fear death? And are you fulfilled? Now these questions are soul searchers that pry open the mental doors you didn't even realize were closed. This isn't about trivia or small talk. These questions are catalysts, mental sparks that can ignite a lifetime of change. Think of them as existential espresso shots waking you up to the grander scheme of life. Questions like these push the boundaries of mere curiosity. They urge you to confront your inner world, shaking the dust off the most secluded corners of your being. In an age where most of us skim through life without a second thought, pausing to grapple with questions like these is like hitting the brakes. The answers you might find just set the course for the rest of your life. Let's imagine a scenario with a businessman and a fisherman. They both find themselves in a sleepy beach town, and while the businessman is busy making plans to build an empire, the fisherman is content catching a few fish, enjoying his meals with family, and just living one wave at a time. The businessman can't wrap his head around it. He tells the fisherman, hey, you could be so much more successful if you fished more, sold more, expanded. But here's the kicker. The fisherman is already doing what he wants to do. He's living his version of a fulfilled life and doesn't want to change anything or grow his business. He's happy with what he has. Isn't it fascinating? Two people in the same setting but on completely different life paths. Because let's face it, the journey to fulfillment isn't a one-size-fits-all roadmap. It's as diverse as the people walking it. Your purpose is yours and yours alone. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. For the fisherman, serenity in a simple life was his nirvana. For the businessman, it was building something grand. Neither is right or wrong, they're just different flavors of the same dish called life. So let me ask you, what's your flavor? The essence here is that you're the chef of your life and only you know what spices up your soul. But it doesn't stop there. We also need to talk about something we've all felt but rarely faced head on. Fear. It's that sneaky roadblock that keeps us from sprinting towards our dreams. Maybe you've been on the verge of taking that leap, starting a new venture, switching careers, or even telling someone how you really feel, only to be paralyzed by the what ifs. What if I fail? What if people laugh at me? But here's where we turn the tables. What if you succeed? What if you fly? Now, it's not just about kicking fear to the curb, it's about redefining how we view life. The moment you take control, the moment you decide to lead a self-determined life, something spectacular happens. You're not just more fulfilled, but also grappling less with the fear of the unknown. Even the ultimate unknown, death. It sounds heavy, but the clarity that comes from knowing your purpose has this incredible power to put your existential worries on the back burner. We're not saying it's a walk in the park. No, it's more like a hike up a steep mountain. But with every step, you're not just moving upward, you're also moving inward, deeper into what makes you, you. The weight of existential dread becomes lighter. Your steps become surer. Because optimism isn't just a mindset. It's your compass to a fulfilling life. So do you have your hiking boots on? Because this trail of life has some fantastic views ahead. Did you ever notice how some people just seem to have this natural magnetic pull for good things? It's like they've tapped into some secret code for living a charmed life. Well, let's unlock that secret today. You see, when you're in tune with your purpose, something extraordinary happens. Life starts working for you, not against you. 
Good opportunities don't just knock, they practically barge through the door. Take the case of a guy we'll call Mark. He wasn't particularly lucky or privileged, but Mark had a way of making things work for him. And it wasn't by grinding himself to the bone or networking like a maniac. Mark had found his purpose, his core passion. Out of the blue, he gets a call. It's a job offer in the field he's passionate about. And get this, the offer comes from a friend of a friend who just thought of him for the position. A golden opportunity just landing on his lap. Now, let's keep it real. Purpose isn't a magic wand, and voila, life is perfect. No, but it's your North Star guiding you through life's maze. You become a magnet as you align yourself with this magnetic purpose. Opportunities, friendships, even happiness, they're not just abstract things you're chasing. They start chasing you. In this gravitational pull of purpose, happiness isn't the destination. It's your constant travel buddy. So imagine the allure of Steve Jobs, not just as a tech mogul, but as a human dynamo. When he walked into a room, people felt it. Steve was a magnet for like-minded individuals, investors, and even competitors. He embodied something far greater than just the CEO of Apple. He was the epitome of a man living his purpose, driven by a vision bigger than any product. And that right there is the secret sauce. Living a purposeful life creates an aura around you that people can't ignore. This isn't just motivational fluff, there's actual science behind this. According to psychology and even some neuroscience studies, emotions are contagious. Ever heard of mirror neurons? They're why you might find yourself yawning after someone else does or why a smile from a stranger can lift your spirits. It's the same with passion and purpose. When people sense that you're on a mission, they get swept up in the excitement. You literally become a conductor of positive energy. Now, imagine this energy circulating back to you. We're talking about a self-sustaining ecosystem of positivity here, where your purpose drives you to excel, attracting more good vibes and opportunities, further fueling your passion and effectiveness. This is a positive feedback loop at its finest. It's not just about getting what you want, it's about your purpose of energizing everyone and everything around you. And then, as you know, we live in a world awash with messages telling us what success should look like. You've seen the ads, the luxury cars, the swanky penthouse, the Instagram-worthy vacations, but let's get real for a moment. Those things are eye candy, not soul food. Sure, they're nice, but do they enrich our lives? Do they get us any closer to living in sync with our deepest desires and values? The truth is that the incessant noise from advertising and societal norms is like a fog on a windshield. It obscures our vision of what real happiness and purpose can be. What if success isn't about the size of your bank account, but the quality of your everyday experiences? What if true wealth isn't measured in dollars, but in meaningful moments and the richness of your relationships? When you align your life with your true purpose, Purpose, you tap into a source of contentment, joy, and peace that no amount of money can buy. And that's not just some feel-good philosophy. It's a lived experience for those who dare to challenge the status quo and redefine what success means for them. What's your opinion on this journey through the mysterious cafe on the edge of the world? Why are you here? Do you fear death? And are you fulfilled? Comment below and be sure to subscribe.